Currently all around the world amphibians are in crisis, it's, it's at critical point, we're losing species just as we're having this conversation right now. Here at Melbourne Zoo we're currently involved with two critically endangered species who are currently undergoing captive breeding population programs. One of those animals is the southern corroboree frog and that's found on top of Mount Kosciuszko in the Alpine National Park in New South Wales. These are two of our babies that we hatched out last year. Southern corroboree frogs will reach sexual maturity at about three to four years and can actually live in captivity up to about 12 years. So hopefully, fingers crossed, these guys have got a long way to go. The other species that we're involved in is the stuttering barred frog. And that species was once found in Victoria. Unfortunately, it hasn't been seen here since about 1983 and now occurs in small remnant populations in New South Wales. So we're, we're heavily involved in both of those projects. There's a number of reasons why we can't lose amphibians. They play a, a vital or a critical role within the food chain. Things rely on them. And more than anything, they are a really good indicator of the health of a particular waterway or an, or an ecosystem. Once you lose the amphibians, it's a really good indicator of whether your water is in trouble or your land is in trouble because they live in both environments. The southern cover frog has been suffering a dramatic decline for the past 20 years. And there's a number of threatening processes causing that effect. Global warming, fire, and an introduced pathogen called amphibian chytridiomycosis, also known as the chytrid fungus. I think frogs are fantastic. I think that there is so many species, we're talking about six and a half thousand species of frogs. Every single one of those frogs are different. They have different behaviours, they have different characteristics, they breed differently, they hop differently, they jump differently. If we lose that, I think that would be a really sad day for the planet.